Hey guys, it's Tesla here and welcome to part one of our basic hunger system tutorial. So in this one, we're going to create a value which will decrease over time and we can apply that to our own system. It doesn't necessarily have to be a hunger system, but I'm going to stick with that. So to begin, we'll open up our level blueprint. We'll create a new variable by clicking this button here and we're going to call this hunger. We're going to change the variable type from a bool to an integer and we need to change the default value so we need to compile. Now let's change the value from 0 to 100. You can change it to whatever you want. And let's drag this out. We'll click get. I'm going to zoom in here. And we're going to drag this one out. And we're going to type in subtract. And let's change the value from 0 to 1. So this is going to subtract the value of 1 from our current hunger value, which is starting at 100. Let's drag this out here and let's type in clamp. So this is going to stop it from going below minus 1. I'm going to change this to 100. And let's drag out hunger again and we're going to click set. And let's connect these guys up here. So every time this executes it's going to subtract the value of 1 from our current hunger value. And to do that we need to right click, add event, event tick, we're going to drag this out here, type in delay, and I'm going to change it to 2 seconds, and connect these guys here. So this is updating, this is firing, sorry, every, every frame, and it's delaying by 2 seconds, and then subtracting our value here. So we can get this, and we can see it in game, by printing a string. So we'll drag this out, I'm going to type in print print string and we can convert this value here to a string so we'll drag this out and type in to string and now you can see they're the same color so we can connect them so let's jump in game we're going to click compile first and now on the top left you can see the value decreasing Okay, so in part two, we're going to look at how we can apply an event to a certain value. So let's say it hits 90 now, and we want it to go black and white, and we need to eat and then increase the value again. We can do that. So I'll see you guys in part two.